school Gavro. Mr. Ibu. I have been down for so, 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 so many weeks. All I am hoping is your prayers and assistance. I've been in the hospital, so as I speak to you, I'm still lying down in the hospital. The medical director of this hospital said the, and the best solution is in case his new idea didn't work, the best idea is to cut off my leg. Just see me. If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? Where will I go to? Where, where do I go for me? Please, please, be on the prayers for me. Talk to God Almighty. I don't want my leg to be cut off. Please. Thank you so much. God bless. Dear Nigerians, first of all, good day from wherever you're watching this video. We want to appeal that um, at this point, as a family, we want to appeal that people should come to Daddy's aid and rescue. So for the past two weeks, Daddy has been very down. We took him to the hospital. Personally, I've been sorting out the bills, thinking it's something I can do alone. Mommy has been at the hospital for like two weeks now. The kids are at home. We've been doing everything humanly possible to make sure that he gets back on his feet. You know, the family, we, we thought it's something we can actually do. We thought we could sort it out on our own and he'll be fine. But he's not getting better. Some days it looks like it's better. The other days it looks like it's getting worse. As we speak now, we are still at the hospital and they want to refer us to another hospital because it's not getting better. And we are at one of the best private hospitals in Lagos. So we are appealing that if there are any individuals or any organization that can at least fly daddy to abroad to get a better treatment, because this is not the first time this daddy is down like this. Daddy has been down, up, down, or back on his feet, down again. So if he's not getting better here in one of the best private hospitals in Lagos, I think we need people that will come together, if possible, fly him abroad so that he can get better treatment. As a father, he has been fighting for himself. Like, he's been fighting. He wants to live. He wants to fight this. He has been trying to be strong. So please, we are appealing to anybody that can reach out, please, as you see this video, if you have the capacity to help daddy, personally, I'm exhausted. Personally, this is the bill they just gave us from the hospital. We have been the ones sorting. I personally have been the ones sorting out this bill. But I'm drained financially. I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. Please, I'm calling out for help. My fellow Nigerians, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Please, I am begging you people. My husband needs your help right now. He's been down. He's in pains. He has been crying. Please, come to help him. We need to help him now. He needs you people right now. As a wife, you know, because of the children, because of people around him, please, my people, please come and help us. We need you people now. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, please help daddy. Help us save daddy, please. Thank you so much. Also, please, if you can support daddy in prayers, add him in your prayers. Add him in your good thoughts, your best wishes. All we want is for daddy to be fine and back to his feet again. Those that can support financially, please do not relent. We are hoping and we are trusting that together we would help him win this battle. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. He needs your prayers now. Please, my people, let's pray for him. He needs you. He needs you, people, please. Please, my people. I beg in the name of God. Please help him. Thank you.